Now we're to prepping and painting the cabinet for the Unisol. Um, start by uh, wire brushing any uh, debris away and then I use a random orbit sander. Uh, sometimes I use an angle grinder with different attachments depending on the um, uh, quality of the previous paint job. Um, I, I do not usually strip them all the way down to bare metal, um, sometimes if it's necessary. But other times if there's a good original paint um, uh, coat that ad adheres well, then I usually just scuff it up, remove any debris, any loose paint, and then go to priming. And with priming here, you can see um, I'm using uh, rattle cans to do so. Um, you can pick your, your preference as far as colors and so forth. Uh, I've been pretty happy with my choices of Rust-Oleum products, but everybody's, everybody's different. Uh, these are just rattle cans. This is not the most durable choice, but it's a good combination of affordability and appearance. Uh, and again, these are saws to be used, not to be um, you know, museum pieces. The main thing is to follow the instructions on the can and to use a good technique, keeping the can the right distance away. And you can see I'm going back and forth, uh, letting off of the, the nozzle when I get to the end of the, the cabinet, and then uh, going across and, and releasing that, that nozzle. That's a key part of it so you don't get runs. You can get a pretty good finish from a can with practice. So I'm putting the primer on all four sides. Um, and uh, it's the same technique you use if you ever have sprayed anything with an HVL pre, uh, HVLP sprayer or anything like that. Uh, it's just keeping the same distance away, uh, steady speed, and releasing that nozzle at the beginning and end of each stroke. Follow these instructions on the can as far as letting the primer dry. And then it's on to the finish coat. Again, I'm following the instructions on the can and using that steady uh, stroke here, keeping it the same distance away and uh, releasing the nozzle at the beginning and end of each stroke so they don't get runs. And this enamel covers pretty well and it, it really looks, looks pretty okay, good. Okay, so the painting of the cabinet's all done. Uh, it's got the nice uh, enamel and the light gray interior. Um, and I put the uh, name plates back on. I like to let it sit for a couple days to try to let that enamel harden up a little bit more. It's, it's obviously dry, uh, but the longer that can hard, it harden, then uh, the better off it'll be and more resistant to scratches. So that's all set. Um, like this dark, uh, dark gray for these Unisaws.